Hey everyone, my name is Swapna, and I'm the managing editor of Panels.net. If you haven't come over and visited us, we're Book Riot's sister site that is all about graphic novels, graphic memoirs, anything comics. We cover a lot of the superhero capes and tight stuff, that is true, but we also make it a point to talk a lot about non-superhero graphic novels that people are reading and loving and try to recommend the ones that we think you all should be reading. Comics and graphic novels specifically are just blowing up right now and it's as a comics lover it's really great to see how much mainstream acclaim and acceptance they've been getting recently. At the end of June I attended a conference called ALA, the American Library Association's annual meeting. It's directed towards librarians and Panels has a lot of librarians as contributors and we also love the work that libraries do. I personally believe that librarians are fundamental in helping readers find and discover comics and are a big part of why comics has experienced this resurgence in the past few years. At ALA I was fortunate enough to get the chance to talk to not only librarians but a lot of great publishers about recent comics that they're really excited about and want more people to know about. So with that in mind I'm going to talk to you about five graphic novels that I picked up at ALA that I really want you to give a chance. First I want to talk about Lucky Penny. This is by Ananth Hirsch and Yuko Ota and it's out from Oni Press. This little graphic novel is just, it owns a piece of my heart. It stars a main character named Penny and you can see Penny right here. Penny has bad luck. On the same day that she loses her job, she also is kicked out of her apartment and has to find a new place to live. But Penny also meets a cute guy and they might be hitting it off so maybe her luck isn't all bad or will her luck ruin this fledging relationship as well. It's basically a rom-com in comic form. The drawings are so so fun. It's reminiscent a little bit if you enjoyed Scott Pilgrim. It's I, it reminded me a lot and has been compared quite a bit to Scott Pilgrim. Um, and one of the things I love most about Penny is she is an unapologetic lover of fantasy romance novels and this is as much a love letter to romance novels as it is in as of itself a rom-com. This is for everyone who has ever been made to feel ashamed that they liked reading romance novels. Penny is so like strong and funny and unapologetic. I love this graphic novel is one that I'm going to be buying for everyone I know and pushing it onto them because it's just that good. So I really want you to pick up Lucky Penny. It is so great. Just take my word for it. Next I want to talk to you about Professor Astro Cat's Frontiers of Space by Dr. Dominic Walliman and Ben Newman. And this is about a, prof a cat, a cat professor, as you can see. It's from No Brow. Uh, but this is a cat professor who is going to teach us all about space. And if you know me at all, you can follow me on Twitter at S. Krishna. You know I'm a huge space nut. In my free time, I write a weekly space newsletter that just kind of talks about all the what's happening in space, the space and NASA, and what, what's happening this week. So when I heard about Professor Astrocat and his love of space that I was really intrigued. And it's super cute. It teaches you things about the galaxy and about space and it's actually I love this format I love generally oversized graphic novels and comics but I love this format because you can hand this to a kid and it just it looks like another you know picture type book and it's got gorgeous illustrations but it also teaches you a lot so it's going to teach you things that you would not likely know but it's also fun, it's gorgeous, and it's it's really appropriate for any age. And this is something you can read on your own as an adult and learn something new, or it's something you can sh read with a child, and both of you can learn something new. It's There are not a lot of comics that are labeled as all ages that are genuinely entertaining for all ages, but I really do believe that this is one of them. So next I want to talk about a book that isn't actually a comic. It's called The Gate of Sorrows by Miyuki Miyabe and this is actually if you can um, see it is a uncorrected proof copy. This isn't out till August so apologies but you can go ahead and get your pre-order in because I think you'll really want to check this one out. Now I have not read this yet so keep that in mind but you might be wondering why am I including this in a roundup of graphic novels. Well this is actually from Haika Soru which is an imprint of Viz Media which is the largest manga 
company, uh, Manga Are Japanese Comics. This is from the largest manga publisher in the U.S. Heiko Sur is their prose imprint. So if you are, if you're just looking for more books in translation, even this is one you should give a chance. So this is a sort of supernatural murder mystery. There's a series of murders and they don't know what's happening. And so a college student launches a web investigation of who the killer might be and comes face to face with some pretty heavy stuff. It's kind of a fantasy supernatural thriller, I guess you could call it. And this sounds really interesting. I'm really excited to read it. I have some of Heikasoru's stuff. Uh, the imprint stuff, but I haven't read any, and this might just be the first book I read from them. So that's Gate of Sorrows by Miyuki Miyabe. Next, I'm going to talk about something that's a little more backlist. This is Woman Rebel, the Margaret Sanger story uh, by Peter Bag or Bag. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Uh, it's from Drawn and Quarterly, and I love the people at Drawn and Quarterly. They put out such great stuff. If you haven't checked them out as a publisher, they're an avowed feminist press, and as you can tell, this is quite the feminist book. This is the story of Margaret Sanger, and Sanger, if you're not familiar with her, was one of the foremost birth control activists in the United States. And so this, I'm going to show you some pages here. So basically, if you don't know a lot about this woman, well, you should probably pick this up. As the founder of Planned Parenthood, she's a figure I feel like not enough people know about, and more people really should, because she led an incredible life and is such an amazing activist. Finally, I'm going to talk about one more backlist title. A disclaimer, I didn't actually hear about this for the first time at ALA, but I met the artist who I've admired for a long time at ALA and had such a nice conversation with her, MK Reed, and this is The Cute Girl Network by MK Reed, Greg Means, and Joe Flood, and you can see The Cute Girl Network back here. This is a hilarious, fun, incredible graphic novel about these two, Jack and Jane. And um, I've talked about this book on a previous video, so if you've heard about it before, that's because that's how much I loved it, love it, and wanted to include it in this video. It's from first the publisher First Second, and it's another, like Lucky Penny, this is another romantic comedy type. The story is that Jane thinks Jack is pretty great, but her network, the Cute Girls Network, um, has had some bad experiences with Jack and the Cute Girls Network looks out for one another and so they're trying to keep Jack and Jane apart. And so the question is who is going to triumph? Will the love of Jane and Jack triumph or will Jane listen to her friends and sisters in the Cute Girl Network and not give Jack a chance? So it's a funny sweet romantic comedy but what I really appreciated the most about it is it's incredibly witty, it's sharp, it's just funny. It's, it's, it, it, this graphic novel made me laugh out loud to myself over and over again and I hope, I really want you all to experience it as well. Those are just a few of the amazing graphic novels and comics that I ran into at ALA and I have a lot more comic recommendations where those come where those came from. Um, I recently recommended five upcoming graphic novels that you want to keep an eye out for that I also heard about ALA. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube notes for this video and I hope you enjoyed this video. We're always here to give you comic recommendations at panel so if you're looking for a graphic novel, graphic memoir, something that's all ages, something for adults, something for kids, it doesn't matter. And tweet us at hey panels. I might not be able to answer your question, but someone at panels will. So you can always throw these types of questions out to the panel's hive mind.